from the Bud Warner Memorial Library with another fun story, little crafters at home, story time. This week we're going to be practicing our counting. We have counting books and counting songs and a counting craft. So this week is a puzzle and you will cut out all the different mittens and then find which ones that match. The color will match and the number to the number of snowflakes on the other mitten. So you can put them face down and make a memory game or make a puzzle out of it and have a fun matching activity. So lots of good counting practice with that one. But first, let's get some of our wiggles out with our hello song. Can we start with our hands? My hands say hello. My hands say hello. Every time I see my friends, my hands say hello. Good job. What about your hair? My hair says hello. My hair says hello. Every time I see my friends, my hair says hello. Good job. And your shoulders, let's wiggle. My shoulders say hello. My shoulders say hello. Every time I see my friends, my shoulders say hello. Good job. All right, we are ready for our first story. Abigail. What kind of an animal is Abigail? I think she's a very tall giraffe. Let's see what this giraffe and all of her spots is doing. Abigail loved to count. It was her very favorite thing. Looks like she's counting some butterflies. Ready? Let's count them with her. One, two, three, four, five beautiful butterflies. Great counting. She counted the dots on a ladybug. One, two, three, boop. The ladybug scurried under a leaf. Oh, you guys see the ladybug? It's very little. Oh my goodness, so little. So Abigail counted the leaves on the tree. Four, five, six, but somebody was eating the leaves. Crunch, munch, lunch. What kind of animal is eating the leaves? A zebra. Abigail really wanted to count. She started counting zebra stripes. Seven, eight, nine. It's incredibly difficult to count when you're moving, Zebra, grumbled Abigail. But Zebra just couldn't help it. Where did they all go? They're really running. And there was no point in even trying to count cheetah splotches. Whoosh! He was just too fast. Come back, everybody, said Abigail crossly. Oh dear, sighed Abigail. There must be something I can count. I know just the thing, whispered Ladybug. Follow me. Oh, flowers, giggled Zebra. Come on. We'll help you count. Unfortunately, Abigail's friends were not very good at counting. One, two, six, lots, bellowed Zebra. One, three, five, many, <laughs> laughed Cheetah. Oh, it was impossible. But Abigail was a very patient giraffe. Carefully, she showed her friends how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job! They practiced all day long until at last their counting was nearly perfect. But by that time, it was dark. Oh no, grunted Zebra. 
How can we count when the sun has set? Cheetah's tail drooped and Ladybug frowned. But Abigail just smiled. Don't give up, everyone. <gasps> Look, high above the stars were twinkling and they were not going anywhere. <gasps> wow. Ooh, ooh. Together, Abigail and her friends counted all night long. Three friends, 1,267 stars, and one Abigail. Beautiful twinkly stars. You can try counting the stars at night. Be helpful to do it with friends. Have a little help to count that many stars. All right, my friends, let's sing another counting song. I have some little friends up here with me. It's a frog. What does a frog say? Ribbit, ribbit. Great job. All right, they're sitting up here on their log, but they are hungry. How many frogs do I have up here? Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, ready? Five green and speckled frogs sat on a bumpy log, eating the most delicious bug. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. <gasps> oh my goodness. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four. Can you see four of your fingers? Good job. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a bumpy log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Good job. Let's count. One, two, three. They still look hungry and they're eating bugs. Ooh, are you gonna have bugs for breakfast? No. Ready? Show me your three fingers for our three frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a bumpy log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Rabbit, rabbit. Good job. Let's count. One. Two. Can I see two of your fingers? Good job. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a bumpy log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Good job. There's just one left. Are we ready? One green and speckled frog sat on a bumpy log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Are there any left? Zero frogs. Great job. Nice counting. Thank you for your help with that. All right, let's go ahead and head into our next story. Stack the cats. Oh, are those cats on top of each other? Oh my goodness. Maybe that's how they like to nap. There they are again. One cat sleeps. Ooh, two cats playing. They're playing with yarn. One, two. Three cats stack. One, two, three. <laughs> Four cats 
Teeter, oh, teeter, don't fall over. Good job. And five cats totter, can we fall over? Whoa, good job. And six cats prefer two stacks of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, that one's upside down. And seven cats. Shh. Nap. Oh, wait a minute. Is that one peeking at us? Good job, Sally guy. And eight cats try, but. Nine cats agree to three, three, and three. Ready? If we counted three stacks of three, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's another seven, eight, nine. Ten cats are just too many. So, one cat. Sleeps. Two cats climb up and away. Yellow cat one, orange cat two. Two cats hide and one cat seeks. Do we see where they hid? Hmm. Uh oh, I see some ears poking up. <laughs> and three cats stack. One, two, three. How will you stack the cats? There they all are. First prize stacking. Oh my goodness. That was silly, but a fun way to count kitties. What fun that was. All right, my friends, I have a bumblebee finger play for us to try. All right, so here is the beehive. This is where bees live. But where are all the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. Ready? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try that again. Ready? All right, we have a fun beehive finger play to try. Here is the beehive. This is where the bees live. But where are all the bees hidden away when Nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Can you buzz like a bee? Bzzz. And they all fly away. Great job. All right, let's try it with our hands so you can do it at home. Can you make a fist with your hand? Good job. And put your other hand up against it. Hide that hand, that other hand. Good job. Ready? Here is the beehive. But where are all the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And they all fly away. Great job. All right, my friends, we are ready for our last counting story. Count the monkeys. Let's count those monkeys. I see them there. You see them? Will you help me count them? I'm going to need your help. All right. Hey, kids. Time to count the monkeys. It's fun, it's easy. All you have to do is turn the page 
and count the monkeys. Are we ready? Let's go. Yikes! One king cobra has scared off all the monkeys. Let's turn the page very slowly, very carefully, so he doesn't notice us. Mongooses have chased away that cobra. Or is that two mongoose? I'm pretty sure it's two mongooses. Let's vote. Raise your hand if you think it's mongooses. Mm. And now raise your hand if you think it's mongooses. Good job. Interesting. Let's turn the page and I bet the monkeys will come back. Uh-oh. Three crocodiles frightened those mongooses. I dislike crocodiles, especially these crocodiles. Move your hand in a zigzag while we turn the page. It will confuse them. Ready? Let me your help zigzag that finger. Good job. Oh no, I never thought I would miss those crocodiles. But these grizzly bears are even worse. And how many are there? One, two, three, four. We're never going to count the monkeys. Okay, put your arms above your head. Make a loud roar. But most importantly, let's turn that page. drove off those bears. One, two, three, four, five. Bees can smell fear. Are you afraid? Are you? Hmm, let's hum a happy tune and smile while we turn the page. Phew, six sweet old beekeepers have shooed up all those bees. Say thank you six times very politely. These ladies care about good manners. Ready? I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, ah, thank you. Now finally, the monkeys can come back. Let's turn the page and count the monkey. Now, seven wolves sent those old ladies packing. Wolves and grandmas never get along. Oh, this is very important. Don't look the wolves in the eyes. Okay. In fact, let's cover your eyes while we turn the next page. We are doing it. Oh, God. Phew. Oh, good. Eight lumberjacks took care of the wolves. And they all have saws and axes. Let's count our lumberjacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now it's safe for the monkeys. <gasps> Let's get each lumberjack a high five and turn the page. <gasps> so we can count the monkeys. Hmm. Still eight lumberjacks. And they seem to be settling in. Don't they understand? We're trying to count the monkeys. Tell these guys to scram. Can you tell them? Say it even louder. Hey, scram! Good job. Let's turn the page. Oh, great. Now there are nine lumberjacks. They invited a friend. How are we going to get rid of them? Any ideas? Well, would you look at that? Ten polka dotted rhinoceroses with bagpipes and bad breath cleared out those lumberjacks. <laughs> Was that your idea? Because it wasn't mine. Hmm. Okay, we're finally ready to. Oh no, it looks like we're out of pages. This is terrible. We made it to the end of the book and there are zero monkeys in it. And now we'll never
never get to count the monkeys. Oh, sorry, everybody. I guess we <gasps> There they are! Oh my goodness, that's a lot of monkeys! And they were hiding at the end of the book. That's silly. All right, my friends. Great job counting today. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.